Hello everyone, I'm meteorologist Jack Church. Thanks for checking in online for your latest weather forecast. We had a beautiful weekend outside of some thunderstorms that rumbled about. Our Monday has been mostly sunny and our Tuesday and Wednesday likely to remain that way. Big ridge of high pressure remains entrenched off the west coast here. That's going to assure us these above average temperatures, at least away from the ocean, will continue through midweek. However, beyond that though, we've got a cold pool of air. And I say cold, actually cool. It's going to be dropping down across the region and dropping temperatures significantly for the end of the week. In fact, let me show you. This is the upper air pattern. Gives you an idea of how things are circulating across the country. Right now, we're underneath this ridge of high pressure and it stays strong. And then here you can see this cool mass that's headed our direction and moves over us as we head into the end of the week. But then it quickly exits towards the east and high pressure rebuilds in the region. And as quickly as we cool down, we will be warming up once again. As for any rain or snow with that system, as it comes through the cold front, that is, there's a real small chance, maybe a little snow above 4,500 feet Thursday night, and maybe a couple of showers here and there. But all in all, not going to be much in the precipitation department. More changes in temperature is what you're going to notice with this. So the pinpoint forecast this evening, skies are generally clear. Some fog, though, will develop along the coastline. For our Tuesday, generally sunny skies across the region. Notice the absence. There's no thunderstorm activity like we've been seeing over the weekend and late last week. And as we head towards our Wednesday, same story. Still plenty of sunshine and mild temperatures. And here you can see that front, though, that will be uh, moving in our direction by Wednesday afternoon and evening. And then it will likely push through late Wednesday night and drop temperatures significantly for our Thursday. For the time being, though, it remains sunny and warm across the region. 78 degrees in Bend, 80 in Burns. There is very, very likely no thunderstorm activity in that forecast. Overnight tonight, the coast, some fog and lows averaging near 50 degrees. Burn off the fog, get some sunshine in the afternoon. High temperature, 66 in Brookings, 61 in Gold Beach. A little warmer in Coquille at 71 degrees. Now east of the Cascades, bright and sunny for your Tuesday. High of 81 in Paisley and Klamath Falls nice and shimult at 75 degrees. And here in our West Valleys, clear and comfortable tonight, down to 54 here in, Medla, uh, in Medford, 51 in Grants Pass, 53 in Wairica. Tomorrow, mid and upper 80s once again with lots of sunshine. Here's the cool down, though, that we're talking about. A few clouds Thursday. Look at there. We dropped to 71. Friday, we're only in the upper 60s, but quickly we zoom up. By next Monday, we could be back in the lower 90s. As for the Klamath Basin, same story for you. 80s for Tuesday, Wednesday, much cooler Thursday, Friday. Slight risk maybe of a shower popping up here and there, but not a big chance. And then as quickly as you come down, you go back up in the 70s and 80s by early next week. Now along the coast, the temperatures are not quite as dramatic a change, but upper 50s to around 60 Thursday and Friday. A light offshore flow develops Saturday, Sunday and Monday, pushing us into mid to upper 60s to near 70 degrees. That'll be quite nice. Northern California, sunny and warm for the next two days, then some clouds with that front coming through Thursday and Friday. Big drop in temperatures, and then just like the rest of us, it zooms back up to near 90 degrees by next Monday. Again, thanks for checking in online for your latest weather forecast. You can also check us out over the air. That's at NBC5 News. Have a great evening.